What's going on everyone? Might go back. Ready to do another box break. We're going to do one hobby box of 2022 Topps Heritage Baseball. Before we get started, of course, though, happy baseball season. So awesome. CBA finally wrapped up. Lockout over. Players have reported to spring training. Spring training exhibition games begin Friday. They're almost here. Regular season's a little over three weeks away. Off-season is still going. There's still trades and free agent signings every day. A whole bunch of big free agents still available. So it is awesome. It's It feels great that the nonsense is settled and we can look forward to real baseball again. Topps Heritage, fun product. Enjoy it year after year. It's not as popular as it was years ago, but... I can see why those 50s classic designs were something absolutely amazing. And I guess a lot of people aren't as excited about 70s designs, but also the world of the hobby has become infatuated with chrome, with hits, getting autographs, crazy patches. And that's not really what Heritage is about. Heritage is celebrating the history of the tops base card designs and kind of what each year had. And it's for set builders, really. That's its biggest aim. Building that regular set, building that short print set. And then some people going bonkers with the master set with all the inserts and, of course, the different variations and such. And there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do. And that's not really what a lot of the new age collectors are into. So it's interesting, but hey, this box looks cool. Super long. Let's take a look at it. One real one autograph or relic card in every box. You got 24 packs per box, nine cards per pack. Bringing back the 1973 design. So we got one hobby box and we'll see what happens. Uh, you have a chance to get hot boxes, which include purple refractors in every pack. You've got a chance to get autographs, but I think they're only a couple per case. At least in the past they were. Usually you get the relic. Action. Well, there's not really action variations this year. There's image variations because 73 had some action photographs in the cards, and they basically base everything on the design. And we can see right up top, you get a box topper. Uh, you have a chance to get a bunch of other different parallels and color parallels. And there's a whole lot of cool stuff to look forward to. I think you can get autographs on the box toppers. You can get uh, 1973 cards on the box toppers. Here you can see the packs, all of different images on them. So that's pretty cool. That's Salvador Perez. You got Shohei Otani. You got... Looks like Bogart's Endeavors, Bryce Harper, so that's pretty cool. So taking a look at the back of the pack, here's the odds. Black bordered, flip stock, high numbered short prints, one in three, so that should be cards. I think I looked it up and it was like 401 to 500, so there are a lot of short prints. You can get chromes and chrome refractors. Relics, autographs, news flashbacks, baseball flashbacks, then and now. A lot of the inserts they have year in and year out. Here's Shohei Otani box topper. It's a pretty cool one there. Shohei Otani. All right, so we'll see what we get here. Should be a fun rip. Man, they're pretty cool looking packs. All right. Pack number one. Oh, we got a purple refractor. Does it show how hard they are to get? Because they, they should be uh, the hot boxes. So we should have one in every pack. You should get, what, 24 of them. I don't know if they're listed in the odds because they come in groups. And yeah, I know in the past you could always get them in retail too, in blasters. All right, we got Gavin Lux, Mike Miner, Andrew Vaughn, Daza, Brandon Lau, 
Flashbacks, 1973, Endangered Species Act, passed. Our purple refractor is Carlos Rodon. We got Pilar and Austin Riley. All right, let me start a stack for my inserts over there. Take a look at the back. These are all base, man. These will probably be pretty tough to grade because the backs will be, as you can see, right out of the pack. Include chipping. So Wander Franco, of course, the big rookie in this set. I uh, believe O'Neill Cruz is also on this checklist. And he was not in Series 1 of Tops. Is Josh Harrison, Liam Hendricks, Chaz McCormick, Colin Moran, Aaron Nola, 73 Flashbacks, Johnny Bench, JT Realmuto, Manny Margot, Cody Bellinger. So no, uh, no short prints there. Then, of course, you can see the codes on the back, and that's how you can decipher uh, different parallels and such. In case you're uh, kind of questioning, there's all kinds of flip stocks and stuff. But as you can see with the backs of those cards, man, it is going to be tough. So if you can get a Franco, uh, high grade, cheap, probably not a bad buy. Harold Ramirez, Kikuchi, Odorizzi, Santander, Fergie Jenkins. That That's an auto. Ooh, red auto, Fergie Jenkins. I'll take that. The red autos are very popular. As you can see, it's numbered to 73. It actually stands out. A lot of times I don't like the red autos, but that one, that looks sharp. Now, Fergie Jenkins is a more common autograph. He signs in a lot of products. He signs uh, TTM for charity, or at least he did as of a few years ago. He does signings, but he is a Hall of Famer. Red auto, I will absolutely take that. That's awesome. Flexin Rojas, Freddie Peralta, purple. So I would say this is a quality box. You got the purples, which I mean, of course, they don't they don't go for a ton unless you get a big name. Like if you got a wander, that would be pretty big. Uh, otherwise, they're not great, but they're a little bonus. And to hit any auto is great. Obviously, if you hit like a wander red auto, I'm sure it's crazy. But Bogarts. Josh Lowe, Tatis, tough break to start the year for him. J.P. Crawford, Urias, Matt Peacock, Corbin Burns, Will Smith, Lewis Gill, Lewis Gill. All right, I think that's a short print, 491. It gets up to 401 to 500. Hard to believe, not even a quarter of the way through the box. All right, Robbie Grossman, Brian Reynolds, active MLB home run leaders. This is cool. I like this. Pools, Cabrera, and Nelson Cruz, Jake Cousins, Alex Kirloff, New Age performers insert of De La Cruz, Jared Kellenick, purple refractor. Joey Wendell, Zach McKinstry. It's pretty cool. It shows your year by year home runs. Man, Miggy could have so many more. It's been a light on the home runs for him the last few years. But it's pretty awesome. He got up to 500. What a great career! All right, Christian Walker, Hernandez, Kyle Muller, Salvador Perez, awesome year last year. Josh Hader, Tyler Naquin, Brandon Lau, Rich Hill, Mike Trout, boy, hood photos of the stars. Mike Trout. Let's 
Salvador Perez is he's awesome. I love watching him play. He has been good for a while too. He got a lot of recognition last year because he ended up just going bonkers in the second half and put up those crazy numbers. But like he was World Series MVP a few years ago. Like he is he's been good for a while. Just super underappreciated. All right, Nathan Avaldi, Andrew Benintendi, Jose Abreu, Cal Quantrill, Willie Adamas, Chicago Board Options Exchange Open opens, Michael Conforta, one of the many unsigned free agents out there in baseball, Bobby Bradley, Mookie Betts, that's a nice one, Mookie Betts. Rosario, Evan Longoria, Tapia, Luis Arise, Christian Javier, Sean Murphy. Not the Rays rookie you're most looking for. Now, this guy has a chance to be really good. Lorenzo Cain, Eloy Jimenez. I'd love to get a Harper Purple so I could add that to the PC. Trey Mancini on the back of the pack, which is a short print, 443. Mark Melanson, Zimmerman, Marcus Semyon, Mike Moustakis, Yon Mankata, Kim, Tim Anderson, Profar, and oh, the Mancini is a short print, but it is also a purple refractor. Kim is a short print. I didn't really look hard at the checklist, so I didn't look to see like the quality of players in the short prints. There have been some years where they mix in a lot of stars, and then those star cards are a little pricey, and then there's years where it's like the short prints are guys who usually be cut from the set. Cole Irvin, he was with the Phils a few years ago. Joe Ryan. Nico Goodrum, another Joe Ryan, New Age Performers. Charlie Blackman, DJ Stewart, Jared Walsh of the Angels. He's a good player. All right, one more after this to get us to the halfway point. Rookie Cup. Oh, there's a Mike Trout. Nice card there. Matt Olson, former Oakland Athletic, now an Atlanta Brave. I have some thoughts on that, but... I mean, I get it from a baseball perspective. Good move, but... I don't know, it kind of feels like you're... You're doing uh, one of your all-time guys a disservice, just the way that went down. And, of course, you don't know internal uh, conversations, but the fact that they made the acquisition before Freeman had signed anywhere, because as of the recording of this video, he still hasn't been signed, uh, and then gave him an eight-year extension after it seemed like the holdup you know, for an extension for Freeman was over like one year, at least report-wise, five and six. I don't know, man. Seems uh, seems kind of rough to do that to a, a team legend who helped you just win a World Series. And, of course, that's an organization that's kind of well-known for signing guys to really team-friendly contracts, long-term team-friendly contracts. But, hey, world champions, Walker Bueller, Jan Gomes, Gratterall, Akil Badu, Kittel Marte, Tim Anderson. Man, one of the regular refractors look great in this set. Gratterall is a short print. They look awesome, but they're hard to hit. I think it said one in like almost 200 packs or something. Chrome one in 118, refractor one in 176.
All right, Ronnie Dawson, Justin Upton, G-Man Choi, Josh Bell, Ian Happ, Then and Now, Nolan Ryan, Robbie Ray, Dylan Cease, Guriel Jr., Mike Yastrzemski, Purple, former Cincinnati Red, Ranger uh, Eugenio Suarez, now a Seattle Mariner, and Justin Verlander. All right, continue along. But be interesting to see where these guys end up. Chris Bryant, still free agent. Freddie Freeman, Trevor Story, Carlos Correa, who I feel like is going to sign a one-year deal just to screw his old agents. Um, I don't know, it'll be interesting. Nick Pavetta, Kyle Lewis, Valdez, you I think there'll be a number of trades still, too. Yelich, Yarborough, DJ LeMahieu. There you go. There's Freddie Freeman. Atlanta wins the World Series. Jose Barrios, Castro, and Enrique Hernandez. Miles Straw, Chris Taylor, Nick Ahmed, Seth Beer, Martin Maldonado, Pete Fairbanks, Max Cranick, Adam Wainwright, Miguel Cabrera. Nice shine there. Fairbanks, SP. Big set, 500 card set, 400 regular cards, 100 short prints. Ozzy Albies, John Lester, Randall Gritchick, Ty France, Will Smith, Lewis Gill, New Age Performers. Really a bigger set than Topps Flagship because Flagship Series 1 is only 330. Contreras, Stolen Base Leaders, Trey Turner, and Whit Merrifield. Abraham Toro, Anthony Rendon, Aaron Judge. Judge, potentially the number one free agent next offseason. We'll see if the Yankees will re-sign him. All right, Christian Vazquez, Tom Murphy, John Means, Brett Phillips. We've got a upside-down card, Carlos Rodon. Oh, it is Juan Soto. Image, so that's going to be an image variation. Juan Soto. Not doing a shuffle, but I'm sure that will be a very popular card, regardless, because Juan Soto stuff is going Crazy in the hobby. Savali, Tommy Fam, Kenta Maeda is the purple refractor. Rest of the pack, I would assume, is all base after getting the image variation. We'll be making a bunch of these cards available during my live sale, which will be coming up tonight. But then again, most people watch these. Uh, Days later, so by then it'll be too late. But here's a cool rookie cup of Jonathan India, Brett Gardner, Seth Brown, Michael Taylor, Mike Zanino, Carter Keyboom, Byron Buxton Purple. Also, I'll definitely be listing some of the stuff on the eBay store. That is linked down below. Carter Keyboom is a short print. Pack feels super thick. Oh, I can't tell. Maybe it's my imagination. 
it might be an extra card or maybe it's my imagination i don't know but mike soroka josh rojas Corey dickerson carson kelly randy rosarena rookie cup yoshi jake cave bruhan purple the wrong ray noah wander bases yet Corbin Burns and Robbie Ray earn run leaders. Tyler McGill and Brian De La Cruz. Cave is a short print. There's your RBI leaders. Top 10 in each league. Hard to believe. AL. 391. Shade under 4 got you into the top 10. All right, getting towards the home stretch of this box. Hitting auto. Got these purple refractors. Overall, oh, got the Soto, of course. Overall, strong box. Would absolutely love to get a Wander, though. Bregman, Brendan Rogers, Mitch Moreland, Altuve, Cower, Christian Arroyo, Brandon Woodruff, D.D. Gregorius, little Phillies action, Giancarlo Stanton, Starling Marte in a Mets uniform. He was signed before the lockout, which got you in the set in the right uniforms. Arroyo is an SP. I think they're one in three packs, so you should get 24 packs a box. You should get eight of them. Ryu. Bo Bichette, Patrick Corbin, Joey Gallo, CJ Crom, 73 flashbacks, Nolan Ryan, no hitter versus the Tigers, Joe Ryan, purple, Zach Wheeler, base, and Hauser. Definitely be putting together the Phillies team set from this, uh, this set. Wheeler was unbelievable last year. All right, final three packs. Jordan Montgomery, Siri, Yu Chang, Harrison Bader, Castro for the Pirates, Robles, Ozzy Albies, Purple, Sano. Brad Miller, fan favorite. He is still a free agent as well. Would love to see him back with the Phillies, but I don't know. I don't know that it'll happen. Yu Chang, I think that is the cutoff before Short Prince. Roberto Clemente. I guess Clemente's in this set. I mean, it's his top's reprint. I didn't look at the uh, checklist, but I guess he's a base card in this set. 915. 915. Hayes, Pete Alonzo, Paven Smith, Caratini, Raphael Devers. Turner, Alec Mills. Caratini is a short print. And final pack. Down to the final pack. Piscotti finally, finally got the Wander Franco rookie. Piscotti, Stremski, Ramirez, Newt Bar, Shane Baz, New Age Performers insert. Final purple is Jose Ramirez, Lamont Wade, and Frank Schwindel. All right, so to recap, overall, solid box. 
box is empty. I do like the look of the box, all the different players on it. Pretty neat. This is what a box looks like. You get a stack of base like this. Those are all the base. Did hit a Wander Franco rookie overall. I mean, centering is not perfect, but it it's okay. Definitely that white chipping on the black border, which is going to be very common. If you're going to grade those, I mean, obviously PSA is too expensive. CSG will hammer them. They'll be like eights and eight and a halfs nonstop. I think SGC will be tough too. You'll see a lot of nines, maybe some eights. But uh, PSA, I don't know what they'll do with them, but they're a little expensive right now. Another solid hit was the Juan Soto image variation. My box topper was a Shohei Otani. Did get Roberto Clemente, card number 50. I guess that's a base. I didn't look at the checklist hard enough to uh, see, but it was a regular card number. Uh, some inserts, New Age Performers, flashbacks from 73, then and now. They're uh, not crazy easy to get, but not difficult. Then and now you can see one per box, but they don't typically sell for a real high price. Short prints, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight short prints, exactly what you're supposed to get. One of the highlights of the box was hitting an auto and a red auto at that. Hand numbered to 73, it's Fergie Jenkins, so solid Hall of Fame hit there. And then was lucky enough to hit a hot box, which gives you one purple refractor per pack. So got 24 of them. Jose Ramirez, Devers, Ozzy Albies, Joe Ryan, Stanton, Bruhan, Buxton, Maeda, Aaron Judge, Cabrera, Berrios, Yastrzemski, Tim Anderson, Hendricks, Jared Walsh, Trey Mancini, Eloy Jimenez, Mookie Betts, Lau, Kalenic, Lewis Gill, Peralta, Cody Bellinger, and Carlos Rodon. Fun break. Big fan of Heritage. Look forward to it every year. Don't go crazy with it, but I definitely enjoy it. I like the products with a big checklist. Um, and obviously, when you have those nostalgic throwback designs, I'm always a sucker for them as well. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you stuck with me for 28 minutes, you're a trooper. I definitely appreciate it. Happy baseball season. Thank you for watching. Comment below. Let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you next time. Have a great one.